as you know whenever we create a component we always start it with the first capital first letter that's the common convention we follow so because we need to use it like a html tag so if you are having a header tag and if you are having a component if you name it with small letter small first letter react will not know which one to render like this is this a html header tag or is this a component so react will not be able to understand that so that's the reason we always start the first letter as a capital so react will know that whenever it sees that there is a capital header it knows that this is a component that it needs to be rendered so i have this home component which is just displaying this heading and some paragraphs so if you see here you can see it correctly displays that but what will happen if I change it to lowercase while using this? So you can see I am now using lowercase letter. You can see it's not getting rendered. So if you see the generated finer bundle in the bundle.js, if I search for home, you can see here we have a react.create element call and we are displaying string home. So react will not render that home component. It re renders is a tag. So just like a, any tag that we write. So inside home component, this is h2 tag. So it will be converted to react dot create element. And it will have h2. Then you don't have any parameter. So and this will be the content of this. So this is how it will be converted. But whenever you are using smaller case, React will not know. React will render it like a string. So it will render that as a home tag. So it will render that home as a tag. So if I inspect here, you can see now we have a home tag with no content. So that's why React does not render anything because it is creating a home tag, not a home component. So we are not rendering the content of home component that's why it's important to start it with the capital letter while using this when i use this in capital letter what will happen so if you see the generated output it's displaying correctly here if i search for home now you can see here we have react.create element now it's not a string so it's displaying some component web pack generated. So if I search for this particular name, you can see this is the variable and it contains that import of home.js. So it takes content of that home.js file, which is our home component, and it displays that correctly here. So that's why it's important to start it with the capital letter while using that but you don't have to, it's a common misconception that you have to write this first letter as capital so you don't have to write it as a capital you can write it as a small letter while declaring the component so we are exporting as a default export so this is a default export so while importing you can name it anything so i am exporting from home file itself but and while using I am using it capital only. So this is a default export. So we can name anything. But while using, I have to use that as a capital letter. So if I refresh this, you can see it still works. You still have that component create element call and it displays correctly. So while using, you have to use it in capital letter and not while declaring that component. So while declaring, you can declare it in small case this also comes as a interview question so while declaring component you don't have to write it as a capital letter so as we are exporting as a default while importing you can name anything so while importing you have while using this component you have to write it in capital letter if you write it in small letter it will not work it will display that component as a string so you will have home tag you will not have home component content so it's important to while using you have to use it in capital so if i use it in the small letters you can see it's not getting displayed 
so you have to use it in the capital first letter that's the convention because that's how react displays it correctly so that's it about this demo if you want to see this conversion you can check out my webpack playlist here i have that entire explain how to create the webpack configuration three part series or you can directly download the github source code you can download this and part one source code or your entire github source code so that way you will be able to see this converted code so this home component which we have writing if i search you can see it's converted h2 h2 this is the h2 that is getting displayed and it is a home component so you can easily see that converted code and identify and learn how react works behind the scenes if you if you want more detailed information you can check out this beginner's guide to react so here i have explained from scratch advanced things which you should learn while learning react so i have explained everything all the simple details like these details you will not find anywhere else so i have explained all of these simple details diving deep into jsx and all the components and state all the from basics so you will better understand react and you will be able to write better react code so that's it for this video if you found it useful do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel